A lot of you have been asking me to show exactly how to find winning products easily so you can sell them on Etsy. And I completely agree with you. Finding a winning product is more than half the battle when it comes to selling successfully. So today, I decided to teach you my personal method for discovering winning products really easily. Before we dive in, I have to say this is one of the most important videos on my channel. Why? Because even if you create high quality, super valuable products, whether digital products for kids or adults, if you haven't chosen the right product, you won't make any sales. Think about it. What's the point of designing an amazing product if it never reaches the customers? It's like you made a product and just saved it on your computer, never letting anyone see it. I always say that more than 50% of your digital product sales journey, whether on Etsy or Amazon, depends on choosing the right niche. You want a niche with high demand but low competition. Then, you need to list your product on Etsy the right way, with the perfect title, precise description, and the right keywords so it actually reaches your customers. But if you design a product and ignore all these crucial steps I just mentioned, know this, your product will never reach the buyers and you won't make a single sale. This is the harsh truth. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to choose the right product, one with high demand and low competition, so we can design it perfectly. I'll also teach you how to upload it the right way on Etsy by picking the perfect title, the best keywords, and the most fitting description. This video is seriously one of the most important on my channel, so pay close attention to every single minute. We'll be using the amazing Sale Samurai website, and don't worry, they offer a full three-day free trial so you can test it out. I also wanna give them a huge thank you because they gave us an exclusive 20% discount when you sign up using the link in the description and apply the code MOINCOME, all lowercase, no spaces. So go ahead right now to the description box below this video, sign up on the site, and follow along with me step by step so you can really understand how to find a winning product. I promise you, by the end of this video, you'll have more than five winning products ready to design this week. Let's jump straight into our Sale Samurai account. Here in the first tab, called Tutorials, they've explained every part of the site. So if you don't understand something, just go to this tab and you'll find a helpful video. Now if we move to the second tab called Search, pay close attention because this is where the magic happens. You'll see two options, Basic Search and Single Listing. Let me explain Basic Search first. If we type in Math Book, for example, we want to design a math book for kids and see if it has low competition. Here in the first field, we type the title we're searching for and in the second field, Etsy search volume. We see how many people searched for math books last month. And look at this, over 19,000 people searched for this book, which is a pretty good number. Now, in the Etsy click-through rate field, this tells us what percentage of people who searched for this book, or this keyword, actually clicked on a product. Here, we see that 14% of people who searched for math books actually clicked on products on Etsy, which is an excellent number. On the far right, in the last field, we have Etsy competition. Here we see 12,680, meaning there are roughly 12,680 Etsy listings for the keyword math book. That's a fairly high number in my opinion, but the site automatically flags it with an orange mark next to this number, which means the competition is medium. If the mark is green, it means the competition is low for this product or keyword. And if it's red, you want to avoid that keyword entirely because the competition is way too high. I wanna clarify something very important before we continue with this site so you really understand how to spot high demand keywords. If you see an Etsy search volume above 10,000 or even 15,000, that means many customers are searching for this book every month. Now, if you also see that Etsy competition is low, let's say under 5,000, meaning there are fewer than 5,000 listings on Etsy for this keyword, the lower this number, the better. This tells you that the product has high monthly demand, but low competition at the same time, which is exactly how you identify the right product to sell. And trust me, you'll understand this fully as we go through it together. Now, if we scroll down to the second row, we see the Google search volume which shows that math books are searched 49,500 times per month, a huge number. This is especially useful for those who run ads for their products on Google. In the middle field, 
we have Google CPC, which is about half a dollar. This means that if you run a Google ad, each click will cost you roughly 50 cents, which is actually a pretty good price. And in the third field, it gives us a summary for this product or keyword on Google. And here it shows that the competition for the keyword MathBook is high. Now, if we scroll down a bit to Etsy Most Trending, the site will suggest related keywords based on the word you searched and show their competition. For example, the keyword we searched for, MathBook, has over 19,000 searches per month. But as we mentioned, the competition is medium at around 12,000. If we scroll down a little to the second keyword, Math Activity Book, we see it has over 26,000 searches per month and low competition at about 4,300. This makes Math Activity Book much better than just Math Book, giving us a fantastic keyword to focus on in our product. Going further down, Math Puzzle Book has 21,000 searches and only about 620 in competition an even better opportunity. Just like that, I've found two amazing titles in less than a minute, and this process continues as you explore more keywords that come to mind. This is how you gather brilliant product ideas and the exact keywords to use in your title, which we'll go over next. If we move to the right side, it shows the same idea, but for Google in general. This is especially useful for anyone running Google Ads. It gives you the exact keywords to target in your ad and even shows you an approximate cost per click for each keyword. I think this will be incredibly helpful for anyone running paid ads and looking to get the best results. Let's scroll down a bit and you'll see a field called Average Views. This shows that if you create a math book and focus on the keyword math book, the average monthly views for this keyword are around 116. You'll also get roughly six likes per month on a product with this name. Scrolling down a little more, the site gives you all the existing examples on Etsy of products named MathBook, so you can get ideas from them. If we click on one of these products, it shows every detail, from when it was created, its price, monthly views, and even the keywords they used. It also gives suggestions to use low competition, high search keywords that you should include in your title, description, and as keywords. This method is called triple keywords. This is extremely important to get your product to appear on the first pages when customers search for it. Honestly, I am blown away by this site so far, and that's the truth. And as you all know, one of the most important things is using the right keywords on Etsy to actually get sales. This site hasn't forgotten that. If we go to the tag section, it suggests all the keywords related to the term we searched for, and even shows the monthly search volume for each one. Here, you can carefully select the keywords with high monthly searches to maximize your sales. I think we've covered the basic search section, so now let me explain the single listing search. All you have to do is, for example, Take the link of a product you like while browsing Etsy. If you want to see whether this product is actually making sales, just copy its link, paste it here, and Sales Samurai will show you all the details, monthly views, the keywords used, and more. You'll notice that some sellers aren't even using the right keywords with actual search volume, which means if they had used Sales Samurai correctly, their results and sales would be multiples higher. That's just my personal opinion. Now, to keep the video from getting too long, I'll quickly show you a few more features on Sale Samurai. If we go to the Shops tab, here you can actually link your own Etsy shop. Now, this isn't my shop, we're just using a follower shop for demonstration, but it gives you detailed information for every product, including the keywords you need to optimize and a ton of other details to fine tune your SEO. I highly recommend linking your shop now and optimizing all your products. You'll start seeing a huge difference in monthly views and of course in your sales as well. Now if we move to the listing creator, this is where you can upload your own products. It also helps you pick keywords with low competition and high search volume. For example, if we type in MathBook for Kids, it will give you suggestions with high monthly searches 
and guide you to focus on these keywords while uploading your product. You can even set a specific date for the product to go live on Etsy. So if you have five products and want to release each one weekly, you can upload them all now through Sale Samurai and schedule the exact dates you want each product to be published. And here, if we go to the Competition Tracker tab, you can analyze your competitors' shops. For example, if we take the name of a store and search for it, Sale Samurai will give you all the details about that shop, including whether it's currently making sales or not. Let's say the store sells children's storybooks, and we want to know if this niche is profitable. All we have to do is see if the shop is making sales and whether those sales are increasing or decreasing. From this, we can choose the right niche to sell in. This is especially useful for those who haven't started on Etsy yet or want to open a new shop, as it gives a clear overview of which niches are generally profitable. In the second to last tab, called Calculator, you can calculate your product pricing. For example, if you want to sell a product for $2.50, it will show you that after all taxes and fees, your profit will be $1.60. If you want to increase your profit margin, let's try $3 you'll see your profit now becomes $2.07. This tool is super important for calculating your earnings on every product. Moving to the last tab, we have the calendar. Here, it shows all official and unofficial occasions. If we want to see only official events, we can select official holidays in the United States, for example. This allows you to create products specifically for each occasion, which is super useful to launch timely seasonal products and maximize sales. One of the most powerful features I found on Sale Samurai is the Chrome extension. It helps you while searching for products by giving you a quick overview of whether a keyword has high monthly searches or not, and it also shows the competition for those keywords. This gives you a fast way to pick the best keywords. For example, I see that the keyword math bracelet has 24,000 monthly searches, but only 900 people are selling this product. That means if I sell this product today, I'm almost guaranteed to get amazing sales. Look at how we found such a winning product during the tutorial in less than a minute. That really shows the power of Sale Samurai. In the end, I hope you found this super helpful. Go down to the description box now, click the link, and use the code MOINCOME all lowercase, no spaces, to get 20% off. I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.